Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a guitar player, worship director, and music producer here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, what I wanted to look at is the delays in the HX stomp versus my like standalone multi-delay unit, which in my case is a Source Audio Nemesis. I've had the Nemesis for four or five years, and it's unbelievable. It's an incredible unit, but I recently picked up this HX stomp and I got it for other reasons. I got it to be my acoustic rig and to run bass through and stuff, but I got curious whether, you know, line six is kind of famous for their delays going back to the, the DL four and like the echo park and stuff. So I know line six with now with the helix is having kind of like a Renaissance, but I'm like, even back in the days when I didn't always respect line six, I knew they made good delays. So I got curious whether I could put the HX stomp on my board and kind of use it as if it was a multi-delay unit, like the Timeline or the Nemesis or something. I've been doing it a little bit and it's been going well, but I thought I would do like a systematic comparison. So I'm ignoring everything else in the stomp, I'm amps and other effects and stuff. This is treating it as if it were just a delay. I know it is not cost effective to get a stomp just to use it as a delay, but like I have it already, so I just wanted to know. So I'm going to go through and just kind of compare. There are about four sounds I normally use in the Nemesis. It's a resonant analog delay. That's kind of my go-to. I have a dual tape. That's my washier, more ambient sound. And then I always have to have a dotted eighth queued up for certain songs, like that really, really pronounced dotted eighth where it's mixed like as loud as your dry signal so you can do it as a special effect. And then I usually like to have a backwards delay or kind of like a wild card one on, on number four. So those are my nemesis presets. And then I'm seeing how those compare to similar models in the stomp. So that's the plan today. Let's dive in. I do kind of a poor job of explaining my signal chain usually, but this is my Fender JA90 through a diamond compressor. I use my Timmy as an always on kind of tone shaping overdrive, the delays, and then Strymon Iridium on the chime model by way of an amp. And then that's going direct in through a walrus canvas. My home base on the Nemesis for pretty much the whole time I've had it has been Resonant Analog, which is like a DM2 kind of situation. And that goes back to my multi-delay before this was a Boss DD20, and I liked the DM2 setting on that. So I'm just kind of a DM2 setting guy. I like the way it darkens as it repeats. You can use it on bigger guitar parts and it stays out of your way a little bit. So this is the Nemesis. And then this is the Adriatic delay in the stomp, which I think is probably the closest thing to what I'm doing here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do think it's a little brighter than what I had going on the Nemesis. Let me see. Yeah, it's not disappearing into the background quite as well. Let's see what I can do with that. Maybe if I just lower the headroom. That might work. There's not actually a low pass filter on this delay. But there is this headroom control. That might be better. Let's see. So here's the source audio again. Let's 
Let's see how many repeats I have on each of these. So Nemesis. About six or seven before it gets too quiet to hear. Hmm, pretty close. So let me try gaining up a little bit here. Line six. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's pretty close to my starting point on the Nemesis. So that's one of the sounds that I always need to have out of a multi-delay. The second one is like a really long ambient tape for washy stuff. So on the Nemesis, I have this one worked up and I think it's like a dual tape delay. I set it up a long time ago, I don't totally remember. So this is the line six now. that decay longer than the nemesis? Let's see. Maybe a little bit. So what I'm doing here on the transistor tape, and this is a trick I picked up from, uh, I think it was Worship Tutorials, where I'm not actually playing in stereo. This is a mono signal chain, but I threw a stereo tape delay on here so that I could set the scale to 75%. And that's giving me the, I think it's quarters and dotted eighth repeats like this. I think if I was playing in stereo, those would probably be ponging to different ears or whatever, but because I'm just doing it in mono, it's just giving me a dual delay. The Nemesis, honestly, it's been so long since I set up this preset, I don't even remember how I did it, but there's some way to do dual delays in the Nemesis too, although I don't think you have that much control over what the subdivisions are. I could be wrong. So this is note sync quarter scale 75, and then I'm not using spread at all because I'm in mono, and mix about halfway up. Headroom, I actually might lower this. So let's see. This is my Nemesis dual tape. And then here's the transistor tape on the line six. So this round, I actually think I have to give the edge to the line six because I like the subdivision pattern that it's doing a little more. I don't know what subdivisions these are on the Nemesis, but if you listen to the, the dual delay thing, it's doing, it's doing something strange. It might be that they're feeding into each other or something is what's causing that, but It's a little unpredictable, whereas this one is a really clean. So they don't speed up as it's going. The more I'm hearing it, it's definitely the one delay feeding the other delay. And on this one, it stays really consistent, which is kind of better for not 
muddying up your playing. So those both sound excellent, but I'm actually kind of liking the more predictable nature of the repeats on the stomp for this one. So the third preset I always have to have access to, and it's it's not so much that I use it a lot, it's just the songs that I use it on, there's no other way to play them, is a super high mix dotted eighth with like short repeats. This is not a subtle, like it's kind of filling in my playing type of thing. This is like, I can't play the riff without it. So like the song I use as the intro song on my YouTube videos is called Creation. This is a Nemesis preset I made that's in the um, Source Audio Neuro community sharing preset thing and it's called Creation Eighths. So the idea here is I really only want the one note after the note that I'm playing. So it only decays a couple times and it's mixed about as high as my guitar is, but it lets me do this sort of thing. So I have attempted to rig up a version of that on here. I'm using transistor tape again because I like tape for this. I mean, anything would work. Even a digital delay would work here, but I've got dotted eighth, super low feedback, mix around halfway so that it's about the same level of dry and wet. Again, just, you know, maybe one or two really audible repeats and then two more kind of disappear into the background, but. So here's the nemesis for that. Here's the line six. Those sound more or less indistinguishable to me. So mission accomplished. That's really all that I use this setting for is that very specific effect. But I do need to have it around, so I'm glad it's on there. And then for the fourth preset, I'm not really trying to recreate it perfectly. I'm just trying to do something with a similar vibe. What I have loaded on the Nemesis is someone else's preset I grabbed from the Neuro app that I think is called Crinkle Reverse. And it's a 100% wet reverse delay with some like lo-fi degradation on it. in a pretty long decay time. You know, it's it's not. I've not found it to be as usable live as I wanted it to be, so instead of trying to perfectly recreate that in the stomp, I've just kind of made a reverse delay using the reverse delay, of course. So I think that fills a similar role in my presets menu. In fact, I kind of like the way this one has, sounds like it'd be something that'd be droning in the back of a Jimmy Eat World song. (laughs) 
And at that point, I've used up all four of my stomps that I can assign things to if I want to keep one of them for tap tempo. I should have probably explained I'm running a second, like an aux switch off the side of the HX stomp so that I get four assignable buttons and then a tap. That's already probably as many as I need. Like that reverse delay is just kind of me putting something on the fourth one for fun. The Nemesis, you can set it up to have eight presets, and I have, but I only use four of them. So I don't think I'm really losing anything there in terms of number of presets. And I don't think I'm really losing much of anything sound-wise. It's, it's possible that the Nemesis sounds a little bit better if you really put headphones on and like zero in on it, but I'm happy with the HX stomp delay sounds and the advantages I get from having it on my board now, I, I think offset enough that I can justify replacing the Nemesis. So I have it right now set up as if it's just my delay, but I also have some presets where I have the same first three delays and then for the fourth switch I've assigned like a tremolo or something. So this one, I can do delays and whatnot, but I can also and then I also have one called delay and phaser same difference I just put the fourth stomp as a phaser which is great because that song creation actually should be phased so And then just for fun, I made a flanger one too. So anyway, I'm enjoying this. Again, the, the HX stump's probably not cost effective to buy just for delay, but if you rigged up something like this where it was replacing your delay and all of your modulation pedals, or if you wanted to use it as an amp, which it has really not unseated the Iridium for me yet, but you could certainly throw an amp on there too. And it starts to kind of justify itself as a multi-delay if you use it for other things as well, or if you already have it, which is the case for me. So it hurts my heart to say this, but I think I'm going to get rid of the Nemesis and keep this as my delay for the time being because it's just so flexible and the sounds are there. So if you have a big giant multi-delay like that, I think the HX stomp can swap in in place of that just fine. So anyway, thanks for watching.